So in these examples, we are going to start off determining BMI. And BMI stands for body mass index. And body mass index is one measurement of uh, determining whether a given height and weight of an individual shows whether they are of healthy status or not. So the BMI, it's pretty straightforward. BMI is equal to someone's weight in pounds multiplied by 703, and that's divided by their height, and their height should be in inches, and then that value is then squared. So for our first example here, it says, Toby is 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighs 171 pounds. Determine his BMI status. So his BMI would be his weight, as we could see right here, and his weight is 171 pounds. We multiply that to the 703 of the given formula, and then we divide that by its height in inches. Now, its height here is given in feet and inches, 5 feet 10 inches. There's uh, 12 inches in a foot. 5 times 12 is 60, plus 10 more inches. So his height is 70 inches, and we then square it. We go ahead and do the arithmetic, and his BMI is about 24 0.53. For example, two here, it says former NFL All Pro linebacker Clay Matthews of the Green Bay Packers is six feet three inches tall and weighed 257 pounds when he played. 2016 Olympic track and field athlete Molly Huddle is five feet five inches tall and weighed 108 pounds during her uh, running career. Determine both Matthews and Huddle's BMI status. So we'll do the same thing. The BMI for Matthews, that's his weight, that's 257 pounds, times the 703 in the, uh, in the formula. And we divide that by he is 6 feet 3 inches tall. 12 inches to a foot, 6 times 12, that's 72, plus 3 more inches, that's 75 inches, and we square it. So his BMI comes out to be approximately 32.12. For Molly Huddle, same idea. Her weight, 108 pounds, times 703. That's in the formula, and we divide that by her height, 5 feet, 5 times 12, that's 60, plus 5 more inches, 65 inches, and then, of course, we square it. So her BMI is approximately 17.97. So what do these values mean? Well, here is a, a chart, and it's, it's a simplified version of a BMI chart, and it tells the status of what their height is compared to their weight. So as you can see here for Toby, he has a BMI of 24.53, and if we look over here for these BMIs, we have less than 18.5, then your status is considered underweight. 18.5 to less than 25, your status is considered normal, and we could see Toby here is 24.53. So he falls within this category here. So his status, his height compared to his weight would be considered normal. Then we have between 25 and less than 30. That would be considered overweight. And any BMI greater than or equal to 30 would be considered obese. So we could see here. For Clay Matthews, he's at 32.12. So according to this status, this chart here, he would be considered obese. And then for Molly Huddle here, she's at 17.97. So that's this right here. So she could be considered underweight. Now both Clay Matthews and uh, Molly Huddle are both elite athletes, at least during their prime. So it's hard to think that Clay Matthews is obese. He was a very big and intimidating football player. It's hard to believe to consider, according to his BMI, that he would be considered obese. 
And certainly, uh, Molly Huddle was very fit, and it's hard to think that she would be considered underweight. So the drawback of a BMI is it only takes into consideration two values, and that is height and weight. But there are plenty of other factors that help determine what the status is of somebody's fitness. 